Your outboard has to have everything primed from the external tank to the carburetor and it's got to have a steady flow of fuel to run. One main component in all of that is your priming bulb. Today we'll look at the three most common issues that people have with priming bulbs and external tanks. Let's go. At problem number one, if you get a used outboard and a used external tank and it's a bit older, you want to check your priming bulb to make sure that it is flexible. If they sit with fuel in the system for a long period of time, it starts to harden and you can't squeeze it. If you can't squeeze it, the priming bulb's not going to operate. Problem number two with priming bulbs, they get sucked flat. Your outboard fuel pump, after you start your motor, is cycling asking for fuel from your external tank. So it's cycling saying, give me fuel, I need fuel. If there's a blockage upstream of your priming bulb, somewhere between here and your tank, then you're gonna prevent gas from flowing into your priming bulb, which is gonna create low pressure and your fuel pump is basically gonna suck your priming bulb flat because there's no way for gas to flow into your priming bulb, but the motor is sucking gas out of your priming bulb. Main issues, there's a check valve here that prevents gas from backflowing into your external tank. If that's not working properly, properly or if it's clogged up, that's gonna prevent gas from flowing into your priming bulb. If there's a blockage in your line or if you have a fuel filter in front of your priming bulb and that's blocked or contaminated, stopped up, that's gonna prevent gas from flowing into your priming bulb. And if your vent is not working properly, allowing air to flow into your gas tank, then that will prevent gas from getting to your priming bulb, causing it to get sucked flat when your fuel pump is running. When you first start to prime, if there's not gas in the line, you wanna hold it vertically and prime it because what that does is since there's not fuel in the system, in the line and in the priming bulb already, holding it vertically allows gravity to close the check valves in the priming bulb and that will help bring gas in and push gas out into your outboard until everything is primed. That is it, the three most common problems that I've seen with priming bulbs. I appreciate the view. If you have any other ones, put them down in the comments. As always, have an amazing day. Thank you.